Hi, James Melendez. James, the wine guy, here to share this beautiful rosé, dry rosé, with you today. Now, um, you know, I, I do say that, and I have to say that, I think because um, I think there's a, a group of, um, or segment of the population out there that's believing that rosés are still too sweet, or maybe too intense. Um, and for some, I think that, they, you know, there's a recognition that it is dry, or, or many that are dry, and yet uh, it's not their flavor uh, profile or preference. I understand that, and I, I totally, you know, nothing against that. But I do think that there's a segment of the population that believes rosés are sweet and uh, maybe reminiscent of Aunt Mary and Uncle Mort's uh, White Zinfandel. Um, and White Zinfandel is still popular today. I was at a Costco in the Bay Area, and um, I was amazed to see a palette. And Costco does not buy wines that people don't buy. So there's an, an audience for it. There's a market for it. But I do believe over time, um, I think it's going to go away or uh, gone with the wind, shall we say. And, um, you know, I, I look at the period of time before and there's going to be a long time after. Maybe there's going to be a preference in the future that really is going to highlight and enjoy that sweetness. Um, I think sometimes um, it's just really getting a feel for the, the variety and uh, understanding that, you um, what the wine can be. And I think uh, rosé is, is a gorgeous way of enjoying it in the summertime. My friend Michelle enjoys it with a, the, you know several uh, ice cubes. Uh, I would never do that, but um, I also think that you need to enjoy your wine the way you want to enjoy it. Now, for me, this is a beautiful wine. This is a gorgeous um, rosé of Grenache, 2012 vintage from Pauline's Vineyard in beautiful Dry Creek Valley, 13.1% alcohol content. Back panel for your review here, and you'll see uh, on the background here is uh, sites of gorgeous Dry Creek Valley. Um, I, I think for me, you know, I'm going to enjoy this year round, and uh, or as much as I can, because it's not always available. Uh, a lot of producers are going to sell out uh, maybe midsummer, maybe earlier, maybe a little bit later. Um, but uh, you know, there's a rush to drink it in the summertime or the warm seasons versus saying, I'm going to hold on to it, enjoy it during the fall time. When it's dark outside, it's going to be bright inside and a great way to enjoy with food or by itself. Here we go. Uh, take a taste and give you some feedback characteristics as well as a point score. Mm. Beautiful notes of mountain strawberry, cherry, a hint of red plum, cinnamon, hint of pine nut, and pepper. I give this one a 9.1 out of a 10.0 scale. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, and Pinterest. Salud.